Hello everyone, my name is Lachlan, I write for Money Morning and I'm also an analyst on Exponential Stock Investor. Now today I'm going to talk a bit about the Google antitrust lawsuit, look at the Google chart and also look at the XJO and the SPX. So that's the ASX 200 and the S&P 500. So the article I've got up here is a Reuters article. They're basically saying that this antitrust lawsuit is kind of toothless. There's uh, one commentator here who says uh, they shouldn't see this as the beginning of the end for Google. And I'd be tempted to, to agree, you know, you might read this headline, major antitrust lawsuit. You know, you might think back to the Microsoft antitrust lawsuit, but Google actually didn't even sell off on the day. So you can see uh, a green bar at the end there on the day this news came out. And it's been sort of brewing for a long time, this story, but it's finally hit the headlines properly now. And, you know, I wouldn't be surprised to see Google continue on its run, at least in the short term. Now, the US presidential election is coming up. So I'll pull up the S&P 500. So as you may know, there's a pretty strong correlation. And I've got a correlation coefficient down here in the bottom panel um, between the S&P 500 and the ASX 200. And they're generally pretty strongly correlated, which basically means that, you know, as you may be familiar with, uh, when the S&P 500 goes up, then the ASX 200 goes up the next day. Now this doesn't always happen, but it's sort of a long-term pattern that's been emerging. So I'll just get rid of the XJO here. I've been doing a bit of a study. So these small um, squares here are election, the run-up to a US election. And as you can see, it's um, the S&P 500s run into a bit of difficulty on a number of occasions. Um, particularly in 2008. Now we all know that was the GFC, but it's not, I guess, uncommon to see the, the S&P 500 sell off a bit into an election period. Um, this time, you know, it's very hard to see what's, what's going to happen. But if you zoom in on the last, I guess, uh, couple weeks, couple months, sold off a little bit, but it's continued to push higher. So I guess the point I'm trying to make is that volatility is common around election periods. And I think you, 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 might, you might be caught off guard by a sort of post-election Biden rally. Now, Biden, uh, he has said he's going to increase the corporate tax rate but then also he's quite geared towards more stimulus. So the market doesn't quite know how to read it, I think. And we'll see how that plays out and I guess how that influences the ASX 200 in the coming weeks. So that's all I've got for you today. I hope you have a safe week and, uh, and I hope you enjoy the video. Now, the article I've got is on this election theme and you can read that in the description below which I'd highly recommend you do. And you can also check out Exponential Stock Investor, which I guess covers the exponential themes that come out of big trends, the, the kind of trends that, that, uh, that led to Google's ascendancy. So we're, we're always on the hunt for the next Google. And I guess that's the mission of our product. So I'd highly recommend you check that out and uh, have a good one. See ya.